Welcome back to Jack's Tech Corner, or if you're new, then welcome aboard. This is, as the title has already told you, Windows Server 2012 Active Directory. We're going to take a look at Active Directory today and talk a little bit about OUs and how to set an OU up so you're more organized, and that's exactly what it stands for, is an organizational unit, so you're more organized with your Active Directory. So many times I see a lot of mistakes happen with Active Directory when people set this up. And I wanted to keep you from making mistakes, especially since we're working with the new Windows Server 2012. And why not set it up properly the first time? So we're in Windows Server 2012, obviously. And it is, you know, it's got that Windows 8 uh, type of atmosphere. Um, so we are going to go down here and bring up the start panel right down here in the corner right here and you know of course I'm sure you uh, have read or played with Windows 8 by now or maybe you have not but you can actually go and uh, search for classic shell and you can actually change it back to regular start menu uh, and have that what we're gonna do here anyway is once you go into your start panel however you get in there we're gonna look for Active Directory Administration or Active Directory Administrative Center so they have kind of bloated this a little bit, I think, from Windows uh, 2008 R2. Uh, it used to be more streamlined, but now it seems like it's more, uh, well, just overblown up. They, they, they're making it, um, I think they're trying to make Windows Server 2012 so pretty that they're losing the aspect of it's a server, right? It's a, something we sit on the back end, and it does work for us. Well, what you're going to do here anyway is click on your domain name. Mine happens to be Home Server 2012. Really original, I guess. And we're going to go ahead and in this list, and here's where most people make their mistakes. They come down here to users and they say, well, that's got to be good enough. That's the users. And they'll open this up and they'll start adding all their users in here. This is called a very flat Active Directory. Now, I don't like a flat Active Directory because it's very hard to manage in the end and when you start using your groups and everything into different aspects uh, of your policies and stuff you have a very flat network now you're adding hundreds of users instead of adding groups which makes more sense so in here we're going to go back uh, to here and we're going to add an organizational unit is how I'm going to start this off so all we have to do is right click on top of our server name and go down to new and go right here to organizational unit now something has struck me as being kind of funny and I'm sure it's going to uh, do the same with you is when you look at this why is there an address and a phone number and everything in here for an organizational unit now it may be talking about a organization all right but what we're using this for is to separate stuff out in our active directory so we don't need an address and a phone number and everything so we're just going to call this one, I always like to use, let's use payroll. So this is our payroll group and everybody that works in payroll is going to be in this actual organizational unit. Let's click OK on this. And we can now see we have an OU here that says payroll. Let's go ahead and right click and we're going to create another new one. And we're going to create another new organizational unit and in this unit we're going to call this one um, uh, receiving receiving oh. yeah we'll call it receiving and we'll just click OK now now we have receiving and we have payroll now what's really neat in these, once you have these organizational unit, you can see where it says that, organizational unit or OU. You can open these up and we can furthermore go in here, we can go new and we can make units inside the units. So let's say payroll, in payroll we may have a group of people, I don't know how big your organization is, but say we have five people in payroll that actually um, maybe uh, gather timesheets or do uh, the, the clock stuff. And then we have more people in payroll that actually write checks or cut checks. You can break those out even further. But we're going to say here, we're going to go to new, and we're just going to go to user. Because I like to use my OU, my organizational units, basically for 
stuff like user accounts. And you go through here and just set up a user account like you would any other time. Um, again, it's a lot more. It's asking for a lot more information. Uh, so let's just use, I always use uh, this user here called Joe. Uh, Joe the Banker. And uh, that looks good. Joe's uh, user account name will be jbanker. And Joe's password will be, um, there we go. Okay. So there's Joe the Banker. All right. So you have, see that now we have payroll. And then under payroll we have some users accounts. And that's where Joe the Banker is. Let's go back up here. Now the other possible thing you'd create in your Active Directory structure, once you have your organizational units in here, is security groups. Now I made some couple security groups in here. And what that's used for naturally is to push out policies to do different things with your individual users. So if you right click on here and go to New, Group, and on this particular group, you will give it a group name. Uh, let's see what I already got. There. I don't think I have payroll in here yet. Nope. Let's just say we put payroll in here. Oops. Or payroll users. And that's a security type. It's a security and it's a global group. Click OK. Payroll. And we'll go to properties. And if you go to member of, we can actually add the member. He's a member of domain users. Okay, that's already there. Then he can also be a member of payroll users. There we go, payroll users. So he's, now he's a member of payroll users also. Now anything we do policy-wise to payroll users, then Joe would actually receive those. So folks, I hope you've actually uh, enjoyed this little tutorial on how to set up uh, Active Directory, how to use organizational units, and just a quick starting look there at a group, uh, what a security group is and, and how we start to use that. Now if you want to learn even more about Windows Server 2012, you're getting it in your organization, you're like, wow, I really got to learn this, check out my online class at classroom.jackstechcorner.com. And the link is down below this video here. Go into there and actually sign up for the course. It's a self-paced course. Take as long as you want on it. And uh, a lot of people have taken it already. And they are reporting back that it's been absolutely, positively a large benefit from them. And a huge movement in the right direction. Once you complete the course, you will receive a certificate of completion to put that with your resume. Also, you might want to check out my Windows Server 2008 R2 course if you still have Windows Server 2008 running in your organization. Once again, thank you so much for watching my videos here on YouTube. Please click the subscribe button, and I'll see you back here next time for another server video. So long, and have a good day.